Welcome back, everybody. You guys ready? GP Las Vegas, 2018, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, June 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. I will be there. Rudy will be there. Everybody will be there, and you better be there. That's it. All right, that's the end of the video. Stop. Cut. All right, really, today's video is not about this Coke I'm drinking, and someone told me the other day that Diet Coke has bad ingredients for you, and I should be drinking Coca-Cola. In fact, this is the Mexican Coca-Cola because it has the real sugar cane in it. So apparently this is much better for you. Let's take a look. L let's see if I change, change myself. This, 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 I don't know about this thing. I'm back. All right, look, here's the deal. Couple things, Warriors won. We all knew this. Sweep fast, get your broomsticks. Let's head back to Neverland. I, I, I wanna tell you guys that uh, those of you who watch this channel know that I'm a Warriors fan and it was very exciting to see the Warriors win but it was also very depressing to see LeBron James not give a shit about his last game. Game four was pathetic, pathetic. It was the worst embarrassment, the, wor the, the worst effort that I've seen in any kind of NBA game. In fact, I am so glad that I did not fly all the way to Cleveland, Ohio to watch his last game, possibly in Cleveland, because it was embarrassing, embarrassing. All right, enough of that talk. Today's video, because you guys want to hear about Magic the Gathering. I've been wanting to do this video about sealed packs. It's an interesting topic, and sealed packs, starter, starter decks, whatever. And I've done other videos about decks and starter decks, uh, sealed packs before, but those of you who have watched them, they can be searched. There's lots of videos about them. The old vintage packs, the packs can be searched. But then there's the packs like from Mirage and Visions and all the newer sets, they can't be searched. So, but the video today is not about searching packs or whatever, it's more about and assuming that you have quality packs. Why in the world are they going up? Why are people buying them? Who is buying them? Is it just evil people? Evil little investors out there who just want to make money off you? That's possible. Or is it actually just being purchased based off nostalgia? You know, as the 25th anniversary of Magic, this is an incredible bull market for collectors. I don't think people understand, even though Wizards has double digit decline or something, Hasbro reported their earnings last, last quarter, and it was really bad. But it doesn't matter because the collectors are loving, loving this market. And I'm loving this Coke. What do you guys think? Mm. Woo! That gets a kick on you. No, I am not drinking again. I don't know, some guy posted that I'm drinking again. This does not have rum and Coke in it. Just the Coke. <sighs> Being a little... Bloody noses lately. What do you guys think? You guys bring me some Kleenexes at the GP Vegas, all right? But here, the booster packs. The booster packs and the starter decks are very, very strong. I, I, I noticed something very interestingly. There's different kind of investors and collectors getting in the market. Those of you who know this, understand this, is that there are buyers who are essentially uh, wanting to buy one of each pack, one starter deck of all of Magic history. Seems really easy at first, but actually really hard to do. Uh, because when you get to the alpha and the beta and stuff, it gets really expensive and really hard to find. Even unlimited. Supply is at an all-time low. Now, I am not saying that there are investors investing in them, but supply itself, as a general whole, is low. Now, you're probably asking, well, Dan, why the hell would someone want to open an Arabian Nights pack to possibly get If Biff Afrit? And that's like, a, that's not even a hundred bucks. Uh, reserve list, but... Why would they do that? Why would they spend like $1,000, $1,500 for a nice minty Arabian Nights pack? Well, I'm here to tell you the reason why that occurs is because they don't fucking care. That's it. That's that. That's it. That's it. That, I've come to the conclusion they don't fucking care. 
They want to roll the dice like in Vegas. You go to, okay, imagine this. We're going to Las Vegas. Oh, you like this shirt, by the way? This is the same as Open Booster's shirt. You go to Vegas, and you go to the craps table. You play the slot machine. You're playing blackjack. You're getting a BJ, right? That's what she said. You play roulette. Roulette, oh, worst game ever, roulette table games. But you play all these games, right? What are you doing? You're getting entertained. Like you're watching this video right now, and you're watching this video a million times over and over again. You're getting entertained. Why do you watch Rudy from Alpha Investments? You like it because he has good investment advice? I fuck don't. He has no advice. I watch it for the entertainment, damn it. The entertainment. And that's what I'm trying to go for now. I'm changing my mind. I am not, I, I quit. I'm not doing any more vintage magic investment advice. All the content in this is all about entertainment. So everything about investing, do not believe it. Don't believe anything I'm saying. But for those of you who want to believe what I'm saying, I will tell you that the truth is, it's entertainment. It, it's true, it's entertainment. People want to open the damn packs because they want to see if they can pull it. I've, I just had a customer on eBay buy a revised booster pack for me, and he emailed me and goes, hey, Dad, I pulled a revised underground seat. Hmm, that's like a $200, $210 dollar pack. Retail. Shit, that's, that's like a almost $7,500 box, Dan. Last year at the GP Vegas, we were selling them at 40 bucks for, for, for like a discount uh, for the patrons. What the hell happened in one year? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Supply and demand. Basic equation in math. If you actually look at what's happening, people have opened the packs at accelerated rates, accelerated rates because the price of the old school cards have gone up so much, they basically, uh, like when you open a pack, like even like you can get a, a revised fast spawn or a Wheel of Fortune, right? You could get some money back from your pack, not just the dual hands. It's not just a one-time wonder, roulette table, I gotta hit that one number. No, there's other bets that pay out. Make sense? Mm. Let me say that again. When you go to the casino, right? There's other bets like in craps. You don't just bet on one number. You can bet on all these different numbers. And if you're able to bet on multiple different numbers and get paid out at odds, right, X percentage, would you take that bet? Would you take that bet and also be entertained? Absolutely. And that's what's going on. People are taking the bet and wanting to open the packs because they basically want to be entertained and it's an investment. Now this guy who got opened the revised underground seat. Revised underground seats went up recently, right? But was it really worth the risk for a $200 pack to get one of 132 whatever rares to get one of the most valuable cards? Is it really worth it? But you also have the 10 dual lands. The dual lands themselves have gone up, right? You guys have seen that. Also, the Wheel of Fortune, all those other cards have gone up. Let's look at other packs, like the Arabian Nights pack. Oh my God, I had a guy Purchase some at almost $1,500, $2,000 a pack sometimes, right? Why? Why are they doing that? Well, sometimes they're doing it because they want to keep them. Sometimes they're doing it because they want a trusted source like us who do not search the packs, who only buy from reputable sources who do not search the packs. The packs have to be clean. They have to be crisp. They have to be unsearched. You know, there's detectable things you can look at. So that's collectability side. But then you have people who want to open them and go crazy. Ask yourself, in the Arabian set, what is there? Library, Bazaar, Jazam, the big trifecta, right? Then you have other cards, Guardian Beast, uh, if, if, well, that's not a big card. Uh, Guardian Beast, you have the Seeing Tree, Old Man of the Sea, you have Mountain. I'm leaving out a lot of different cards, but look, guys, there's a lot of cards in that Arabian Night set that if you open that $1,000, $2,000 pack, whatever the frick it is, there is a gamble, but there's a fun, and there's a nostalgia, there's a lot of fun factor. And let's not take, let's not forget, when you open the pack, a lot of people grade their, pack, grade their cards in the pack. And what is the best way, other than eBay, to buy the damn cards ungraded? Because that was what it was before. What people did before was they opened the damn packs, and they submitted them to the company. 
that was the, the progression. With these older vintage packs, people say, ooh, that is gambling. That is wrong. Shame on you. That's not, you're playing with fire. No, that is actually, some, people have figured out that as the pack prices have gone up, like even the beta and alpha cards, right? It's okay to buy a beta starter deck, let's say for ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, right? Because you could get not only a Black Lotus dual land, but you get the 60 total cards could be minty, gradable, nine fives, maybe a BGS 10. It makes it fun and you also can open the packs. So that's one big side that has boom the explosion. So side note, if you're going to GP Vegas 2018 next week, I'm excited to see you guys there. We will have packs where you can open and you can basically talk to Rudy and you know how he does it on video and just talks about himself. There you go, an opportunity of a lifetime. Another thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys yet, but we will have one of our friends, Clint, his wife, Jacqueline, is a photographer, professional photographer. But she's not bringing her professional photography stuff. She's bringing her Polaroid uh, equipment. And we're gonna do some fun factor stuff. We're gonna have Polaroids for $5, that's just $5, where you get a Polaroid with Rudy or other YouTube people you want for each Polaroid, and also signed by Rudy, signed, PSA DNA signed, perfect condition. What an invest, think about the investment level here. A signed Polaroid by Rudy for $5. And he's also gonna bring some of those floppy tacos, those cool like green monster little things, you know, the, all the stuff you see on his screen string set in his basement will be at the booth. You can basically hold them up and act accordingly. That is the nostalgia that we're trying to bring in this channel and the entertainment. God damn it. Oh, shh. Don't say that. Sorry, God. Thank you, Warriors. Okay, listen. Here's the deal. I want you guys to understand that. Oh, so that was a side note. Bring, bring your $5 bills and let's take some pictures and it'll be a great nostalgia. Uh, and I think you guys will really love it because you can frame that up, put it in your office, all bullshit aside, I think it'd be a great, uh, like a memoir of the, of the show. Okay, but back to the pack thing, all right? And this is the, the gist and the summary of it all. And, we, and you've heard a lot of content so far about this. I'm very, very bullish on the packs. Also boxes, I mean boxes, if God forgive me, forbid me, if you could actually find the damn boxes, uh, you're gonna, it's pretty damn cool, right? It's pretty expensive. But if you're the average folk, the common folk that can only afford a pack, I would not delay at all. In fact, a cool investing idea that I've been seeing a trend is this. You buy pack to open or buy packs to draft. And I'm not talking about like the alpha and beta, all that, I mean, you can't even do that, right? It's too expensive. But like the Urza's, it's, you know, so it's expensive, but you know, alliances, stuff like that, right? You still buy them to draft, have some fun, but buy some to keep and invest. I think that's a smart move. I am completely on that board because what will happen is people will basically, eventually in time, let's, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. 50 years from now, when I'm freaking old, Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm old, Daniel. Uh, hi, I can't really, I can't really see you because my, I don't have any contacts anymore. And my dentures are killing me all the coke I've drank over the years. But if you're watching this video, do you understand you should have bought those packs when I told you to buy them? Oh, let me just, let me just go back. Look at this, award-winning entertainment! <laughs> I love this, this is so fun! Are you guys having fun yet? GP Vegas 2018, I'm gonna see you guys, I'm gonna see everyone there, I don't even care who you are, you better show up if you do not show, you bet, if you're in the Las Vegas Strip and you're handing out whatever those cards are or you're giving, you know, you're one of those little cosplay dolls, you know, you know how the, on the, I don't know, on the side of the M&M, &M, you know, uh, on the Strip, 
by the uh, Planet Hollywood. They have all those little characters. Come to the booth, please, for God's sake. We need your cosplaying. I think it'd be awesome if you guys come. All right. All bullshit aside, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys go to GB Vegas. I hope you guys really got something out of it. Seriously, I'm not kidding. There is an aggressive bull market for packs. I know it sounds like, ooh, they jumped up uh, exponentially already. No, you haven't seen anything yet. That's it, guys. $5 Polaroids with Rudy, me, oh, you, you know you want $5, right here. $5 Polaroids with me, Rudy, anybody at the booth, uh, we'll have props. We'll have cool stuff. Enjoy yourselves at the show. Be safe. Don't gamble all your money away. Hey, if you want to gamble, buy some packs. Go, you know what? Why not go to the blackjack table, win some money, buy some packs, repeat the process. You'll feel like a winner all the time. That's it. Game over.